this is Don Allen. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the Easy Edit software. But before we begin, I would like to say that this program is for very basic editing. For more extensive editing, we recommend you use another program such as Final Cut or Adobe Premiere. Alright, welcome to the tutorial. Um, we're going to be teaching you the basics on how to edit using Easy Edit software. This software comes with your Contour HD 1080p camera. When you plug your camera into your computer via USB, it will ask if you would like to install the Easy Edit software. After you install the program, you will see a uh, logo like this that will appear. This is the Easy Edit software uh, shortcut. If you click on it, this program will open up. Alright, so we're going to start by explaining what these tabs on the side here are. When your camera is plugged in and you have the program installed, all the video footage that is plugged in to the computer will show up in the camera tab. To open the tab and see what's in there, press once on the arrow. Right now my camera is not plugged into my computer and it lets me know that by saying no camera is detected. If you have your camera in, um, right here will appear and your video files will all be there on a nice display window in this field. All of the videos that you import into the program will appear in your video list. Um, in my video list I have several folders that I've made. Um, here are the two that I've made. If you look into each one of them, you'll notice that there's uh, different stuff in each little folder. The all videos is all of um, files that I've ever uploaded, in, or sorry, imported into the program. And as you can see, they all appear down here in this nice display window. You can create a new list um, of things you would like to have. Um, this was like my testing shots for another tutorial I was teaching. And there's all the shots that I made for it. Here's another one. I had a scooter testing the new camera, putting it in some nice angles. And the file right there is there. And the most recent one was the skate footage where I just filmed my friend skating and put the files right in here to preview. The next um, uh, let's see, tab is the status. If I click on the status thing, it tells you three important, um, inf three important parts of information. The importing. When you are importing a file, um, it's important to check out how the importing status is. It will tell you if, you're, um, if, you're, if your import was successful or if it's in progress. Um, the clipping is quite similar. It's if you had a short clip tells you, you know, what the video was and what its status was, and the sharing is for later on, which I'll explain is the exporting and how you get the programs out. But generally, if your status has a bar right here showing that it is working, do not close your program because it might lose files. Let it finish whatever it needs to do and give you a status update. Just for further reminder, um, you do not have to turn on your camera in order for it to import videos. Simply plug in your Contour HD camera um, into your computer using your USB cord and all your video files should appear in the camera folder. Alright, let's actually start by teaching you how to trim video footage. So first of all, I imported this file into my program by selecting it from the camera folder and hitting the button import. Once it imported, it asked for me to create a file name which I titled skate and I put the date it was there and the time, gave it some tags and a mild description um, just for me to know what this video is. Um, so I go through now and if I wanted to trim the video I want to preview it first. So you can preview it by hitting this play button on the side got a nice shot filming, we get a jump in, good landing, and the nice. video goes and it gets turned around. And there's a lot of um, noise at the very end. So let's say we want to remove that you know, last bit of sound, it's a little annoying. So what I'm going to do is go to the last frame um, that I found was a straight angle. Let's see, let's hit play and find nice. it. Up. Oh starts to get turned right there. Let's go a little bit earlier. Nice. <laughs> One more time and this will be good. 
Once I have a good spot, I'm going to go ahead and hit the edit button. So now that I hit the edit button, if I wanted to trim the video footage, I simply drag the stop marker to the location I want it to be at, and the video will end there. If I wanted to change where the video started, I can you know see move my playhead over here and see where I want the video to be at, and drag the start marker to that playhead. And now all the video files this yellow region, and I have a nice segment of the video that I want to keep, I can hit save as. Here, the title clip I put in earlier will, will be there, but if you want to change it, now is the chance. I might use some other footage later, so I'm just going to have this one be Skate 1. Once I am finished, I hit finish, and it, in, it makes us a new file right there in the program. And it's very convenient for you to use in that way. Another feature um, people are interested in with uh, Easy Edit software is how to speed up or slow down video footage. Um, so right here is a little time, um, like a, a little number of times. Um, what this is is how fast the video is going to be played in. So one times is just the standard play. It's going to play regular. But if you put it into half time, hold on one second. Let me drag the playhead back to the beginning if you put the, um, the times into a half speed and hit play you will notice the video file will be in will be slower it will be 50% slower and this is good for slow motion if you want to really emphasize a moment in your video Once you have edited your video the way you would like it, um, feel free to add extra information like the place, the country, the state, the province, city, the postal code, and you'll add a little bit to your description. For this video, I'm just going to keep it as is because I just want to get to the basics and teach you how to export. Now to export, simply hit the share button. And then it's going to ask if you would like to be logged in. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with my account. Once I have typed that in, I'm going to go ahead and hit log in. Great. Hit OK. Now I'm going to hit share. To check how my video is doing, I'm going to go down to my status um, tab, go down to the sharing property. It says sharing video. That's the name of the clip I just made. And the status is successful. But there was a mapping error because I did not put information about the map, which is fine. But it is successfully um, shared. So if I go back onto the site, I can check out my video. Now if I go onto the site and log in, I can see that my video is being processed, which means it's just trying to get the video file that I just made and post it up onto the server. And there's the video clip and it's ready to go um, and perfect that's how you can edit uh, sorry import edit and export your video files using the easy edit software that comes with your contour HD camera